I have current and voltage disbalances, and they destroy my ozone generators. I think it was more like um, I don't think it was so much the. I think it's because, like mine, I can't leave it on high all the time. I have to leave it on high only more than no more than an hour, and then I gotta put it on medium or low. Yes, but I never use them that much. They were all. all it the... it doesn't matter. It's it's it is the speed of the fan that will ruin it. See, because if you ruin the fan, it won't turn on. If it doesn't turn, what fan? The fan that blows the air. Yes. That can can't be on a high all the time. But listen, in my generator, the fan is working, but there is no ozone smell. I know, but if the fan was left on high, it ruins the circuitry. You can't leave it on high; it overheats it. The okay. chip. I never use. Not how much so you long. use. It's not how much you use it. Is if you just put it on high too long. But you I don't. Have, I don't have an option. I have only one speed anyway. Only one. Okay, speed so anyway. if you only have one speed, then the next possible thing that could happen is just uh, is shitty parts. Because two, your your the way it is, your 220 is in your place is 240 is GFCI protected. That means if there's any kind of spike, it it's GFCI, and then it's also arc fault if it's a modern building. What does that that mean? means that you you're kind of pretty much protected on what voltage goes in and out of that place. Your mainly uh, your main issue is that you just had a a crappy system. See, because when you run things off 120. It's not the same as running things off of 240. You got double the amount of energy in 240, so you have double the amount of usage. You don't use it less when you increase the voltage. You do use the device more. So the unfortunate thing is that you're you're only 240. So the only way you know you you have a if you get a, a UPS. You're gonna get what it, what is called sinusoidal frequencies, but you're still gonna get the 240. You see, so your solution is like I was telling you, you gotta get off the digital because the chips don't don't like working on 240 too well. Um, they're bad enough with 120, but 240 is like double. When when you use the 24 hours, you use the 48, and when you use the two days, you use the four. You see how it multiplies? When you yeah. use the four days, you used it eight. And when you used it eight days, you used it sixteen. But listen, my my okay. water my water ozonizer is not uh -huh. digital. It, it has it has uh, this analog analog knob. But it's Yeah, still... because I remember we worked and got you an analog, yes. But it still yeah. it, it still was uh, Destroyed after very little use. So now I'm I do not know. It's it's what I was telling you. The 240 destroys it faster. Only because, like I told you, the multiplication factor. So in 30 days of use is 60 days. You see? So it, it's not. So you could think that you used it one week only. In reality, you used it two weeks. It's not the same. What am I and, supposed to do? So you, you have to get off of you. It's not the fan, because obviously it works. It's the component that runs the, the probably the, the part where the high voltage and the needle that is in front of the fan, all that works. It's the digital component that activates the high voltage circuit. That's what's broken. Ten times, and then it broke. There is no more smell, no more ozone smell. Unbelievable. What makes it different mine than yours is the voltage. Mine's digital. All the way to 15. When it's at 15, it starts. And it ionizes and sends a... And this, this device, listen, this device... Um, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, the, uh, the, this ozone, ozone tower was great. <laughs> 
but it lasted uh, go to telegram it lasted only maybe to maybe seven nights five hours every night and then it broke imagine that so seven nights uh, every, every night only five hours it, and it was great feeling so i was used they used uh it, it was 10 hours a night you use it for 10 hours a day actually so i i what you can do is this you already know how one of those is bad how much did it cost you the one that you that broke is it cheap no i'm saying the if you buy the the up system okay and then you have it it's gonna be a sinusoidal wave you know no peaks no spike no harmonic uh, interference which harmonics is when you turn on a motor the motor sends a signal through the line and interferes with everything else it burns things up like when you the refrigerator turns on it sends a spike through the through the electric yes. lines in the house and then it also the neighbors and it also can affect yours so what you need if you do an ups i have everything on ups i run my computer it, that does the frequencies that doesn't isn't connected to the internet and it has an ups uh two uh 100 amp hour batteries which will last half an hour and then i have a 15 minute one on my internet router and i have a 15 minute one on my computer and everything here at my the the hub the usb hub to connect everything together to the internet i have all that and, and my uh, usb hard drives all that connected to that that uh, usb usp i mean i mean ups so that that all runs everything of mine runs on an underwritten power source. That means it it's all pure wave. I don't fuck with regular power on anything. I, even you should do that. You should have one for your computer, and then right there where the computer is, you can tap into that to do your your ionizer and all that. You get what I'm saying? If I have in my sleeping room the oops. Is it a toxic chemical or a toxic No, 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 it's sinusoidal. It's just a no, wave in the machine. Uh, is, is it full of full of some lead or toxic chemicals that will lead mm, to the nah, no, no. It's a it's a it's a lead sealed battery. <laughs> the battery you can put it upside down in any position. In fact, I my one of my ups puts it flat facing up the leads on the one I have by my computer. It it's completely sideways, flipped. There's no leaking of anything. Will that be enough to protect my ozone generators, or they will still burn? You have because... to test it. Get rid of that equation that you have open. You have a one plus one divided. You got twenty divided by five. And you got to make sure it equals four. You have the equation open. You got to think scientific. The science tells you, put the device in there, run one of them off. If it does the same, then you know what you have to do. You got to go full mechanical. You got to make the device, remove that. You see, you can take one of your towers you have right now that doesn't work. You already have that needle there. The needles are there. Count how many needles. Per needle is, a, is, is per circuit. Okay? So all you need is an on and off switch. Okay? Yes. <laughs> you buy, they have them on eBay. Here, let me find it for you. Here's your, that's AliExpress. You can order from them too, but it takes longer, doesn't it? Find me on eBay. Put, give me the link for eBay so I can look for it. Because it won't give it to me here because I'm over here in America. It'll always give me the... Of course, of course. The, the eBay over here. Ionizer and then eBay, Ionizer, and then give me the link. This is the German eBay, okay? Or I can... Okay. 
You got it? Okay. That's your best solution for that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put here um, I, uh, a nicer kit. That'll oh, yeah. ionizer kit. Okay. They got the. <laughs> they got a. Oh my god. <laughs> they got a solar ionizer. What the fuck? Oh my god, look at that. Unbelievable. You can put it in. Look at that. I'm, wow. I didn't know they made that right now. They got a thing you throw in the pool and it, uh, it kills the algae in the pool. And it's solar. 65. I'm going to check. Okay. I got here. Um, do it yourself. Repata tour Wukerson Git. Okay. That means. Please uh, give me the link. Give me the link. <laughs> it's only like six bucks. I got several. Let me see which one's the best one. 24 volt. I don't want to give you the 24 volt one. Just give you one that's two, 220. That's a two. Let me see if that one's how. I got to look into what it is. Yeah, it has the two cables, and then you have uh, the box. You see? And then... It doesn't give me the link. It doesn't give me the link. I'm trying to find out a uh, high-power one for $9. That's a better one. Let me get the high-power one. It says here... 240, 10 high head, high power ionizer. Wow. It's got 10 heads on it. This is a high power one. Yeah, maybe you can use that one, huh? You got 10 needles. This shit's the bomb. Just give me, just give me the link, okay? Well, oh, yeah, I'm looking for the right, it says here. Effective area 10 to 20 square feet. Yeah, but give me the link. Uh, so I can follow you. Okay, this is uh, one of them. Okay. You're going to have to do, obviously. Oh, God, come on. Okay. These motherfuckers. All right, there you go. Yeah, that's a big freaking link. 